In this experiment, you'll be measuring the geometry and magnitude of the electric field set up in a sheet of mildly conductive paper by connecting a 9-volt battery to different patterns of conductive ink painted onto the paper. You'll do this by using a multimeter to measure voltage drops in the paper and find sets of equipotential points in order to draw lines of constant potential from which you can determine the electric field. Consider the electric field of a single charged particle. The field lines point directly away from the particle in all directions. The potential increases as you get closer to the charged particle, but it doesn't change if you move along concentric circles around the particle. These lines of constant potential are always perpendicular to the electric field lines. To find the equipotential lines in your conductive paper, first connect the 9 volt battery to each side of your conductive pattern. Set the multimeter to measure voltage. Place one of the probes on one side of the conductive pattern and leave it there. Touch the other probe to a spot on the paper and record the voltage and position. Move the second probe and find another point that has the same voltage. Continue until you've found enough points to make a closed circle or a line that goes off the edges of the paper. Next, move the second probe until you find a different voltage and repeat the process. Find enough equipotential lines so that you can fill in the space between the two sides of the pattern. You can draw your points and record the voltages on a piece of graph paper or record them in a spreadsheet and use this to plot the equipotential lines. Once you know the shape of the equipotential lines in your paper, you can use this to sketch the electric field lines, remembering that they must always run perpendicular to the equipotential surfaces. You can also measure the strength of the electric field directly from your equipotential lines by remembering that the electric field is equal to the gradient of the potential.